once again I have realized I do not have a source for this ready. Give me a second. That's Darius first. That's it starts with a D. There you go. I've only played five hours of Drain it seems like. I've only played the uh, the story mode of this. And uh, it's an okay story mode. They do try to incorporate how some shmups will have this like looping, the second loop uh, in the story because they explain it by a time paradox thingy and uh, yeah, I mean it's about time travel, so it's it's something. Um, my webcam is funky right now. I don't even want to show it. So, neat thing about potential webcam, uh, my camera can work. My camera is suitable as a webcam. Only problem is, is that it constantly autofocuses whenever there's any movement on the in the footage. So I really do not like to watch that personally. So I. I mean, I'll, I have the software ready in case I ever need to like have something that's super focused. But I need to like get some setup done for that. All right. Oh, Steam controller is off. It is indeed off. I'm gonna re-enable it. Uh, settings. There we go. Well, I probably don't need to re-enable it. Let's see. Oh, whoops. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's all I wanted. Oh, hello. Welcome to the stream, Orison. Welcome to me playing Drainus. I saw Fire replay Drainus, and it seemed like a fun game, so I picked it up. And I already played through the entirety of the story mode, and I did like it. Um, there appears to be like some sort of thing with uh, shmup fans about how this game is not so good for those shmup fans. That's what I've heard. Um, because of the way this game is apparently very cheesable and it's easy. That's what I've heard. Uh, the few attempts I have done of this, uh, I don't think it's that easy. It's not free, as I, as I guess is the point. So I, I want to try and once you see this, but if I can't do it today, well, that's to be expected. There is audio for the game, right? Yes, there is. Indeed there is. Um, should I up the mic volume, I wonder? The audio levels seem like the game is a bit loud. Oh, okay, I need to restart the... So, okay, uh... Oh. Wait. So the difference between the regular game of Drainus and the arcade difficulty of Drainus is that you... You can't just, uh, customize your ship whenever you want in the stage. You only have one opportunity to do that each stage and then you have another opportunity once you finish the stage so that even applies to the pause function because you can't pause the game normally i think because once you press start you go into your customization screen which is technically is using up your your customization option so yeah it's a little it's a little rough
Now I gotta remember the buttons. Okay, that's my drain. Oh yeah. So in this game, you drain these purple bullets. Like Ikaruga style, you could say. And then you shoot them back out. Oh, I died. I might have to restart. I I'm trying to get used to the controls again. That's my excuse. Um, but unlike Ikiruga, you have a limit on how much you can absorb. Uh, because you can see at the down left, at the bottom left there, there's the guard meter, and then if that is empty, you cannot drain any more bullets. You can't absorb any more bullets. I think this game was well received by the more casual shmup people, right? Because, um, like, such as Slow Beef. Like, Slow Beef is a huge fan of shmups. I think even more than me. Um, but when he plays shmups, it's more for like... He like... Ooh! Ooh, that was a... that was rough. Like, he, he certainly knows way more shmups than I do. Uh... So I, I don't know what point I'm trying to make. I'm trying to like focus here. I've, I've totally forgotten what point I was trying to make. Oh, I didn't even get the full drain. Get the laser there. I forgot I have the bomb function. Oh, oh, let's be a bit careful here. Okay. So I think you, what you want to do is actually to get score and to get a lot of uh, points you can customize your ship with. Oh, I really got hit by that actually. You actually want to drain as many bullets as possible or absorb as many bullets as possible. Because if you absorb bullets and you get more of the XP needed to, uh, to upgrade. There you go. How's this go again? Oh yeah, they go down. Okay, did I get him, Preston? Oh yeah, I did. I was lucky. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, because I'm playing on hard mode of the arcade difficulty, um, they shoot revenge bullets, of course. I think some... What? How did I die? I think some shmup people, uh, shmup fans, uh, express concern about the replayability of these games and how it's not. <laughs> how it's not really that much replayability compared to other shmups. I'm not sure if that's true yet. I mean, I haven't. I'm li I've yet to go for a proper 1cc of this. Um, so I don't really know what it really. I don't know. If the replayability is there yet. Because I wouldn't know about that when I've only put like five hours into the game. Five hours into a shmup isn't uh, big enough. Isn't isn't big enough? Isn't uh, long enough to figure out the game's replayability. From what I understand, shmup, uh, shmup folk play on the mode where you die in one hit. That's what I'm playing on right now. Uh, you notice how I got hit and uh, I immediately died instead of losing your power up. Because in the normal difficulty of the game, you... Um, whenever you get hit, you lose a power. But here, it's, uh, it's a bit different. Oh 
my god, he got. He nearly rammed me there. I remember dying here in a very silly way, so yeah, like that. Because whenever you destroy one of these lasers, they they move a bit unpredictably whenever they try to fill in the last remaining slot. Yeah, like that. Not unpredictably, but like, you know what I mean. Just, they move really fast if you're not prepared for it. Whoa, what was that? Uh, okay, so there's a bit of stutter going on. That's not cool. Okay, oh, my phone just rang. What the heck was that? I want to check my phone. Nothing important. All right. So now we can customize our things. Uh, what am I gonna get? Uh, I guess I'll get this because this does quite a bit of damage. And that's it. Uh, can I buy? I should have bought a shield actually. Yeah, I should have bought a shield. Whoops. I'll buy a shield later. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, next stage. I think that what you're supposed to do is invest in the shield and then get the bomb. Get the bomb that refills your your super bomb gauge, and that's what your that's what you do. To for survival purposes. Die already! Whoa! Look at that! Look at this tornado shot! Just oh, okay, hold on. That was kind of scary. I couldn't really see the physical project that was path there. Oh my god, that was close. Oh, I didn't even see those bullets. Uh, it was hard to see after in all that chaos. That's learning for later. I think the shield that I want to get is the energy shield. Too. Um, not the physical shield, surprisingly. You would think that it would be the physical shield, but no. I think the energy sh the energy shots are a lot more unpredictable than the physical shots, I believe. So you actually want to protect against those in case you don't press the drain shield in time. Oh my god! Oh! See, like exactly that moment there. Energy shields are way better, I think. I don't know if they're so much better, but... I, that's what I want right now. Oh wait, you can actually... Okay, whoops. You could actually quick kill this guy. But I totally forgot. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give myself a shield. Uh, let's see. I wanna do... Auto guard, I think? Right? Auto guard. get myself I like the rolling bit oh do I have to yeah that's fine 
Uh, oh, Pitchy said something. I want to pause. The frustration from the best players, welcome to the stream by the way, is basically that there's good ideas and ridiculous and challenge modes but no mode has all the stuff they like together, but generally the attitude was cool game to play. Oh yeah, I did remember that sort of criticism, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's such a shame, because I feel like... Oh yeah, the game is still a good game. I like it a lot. Maybe if I had the perspective of like playing this game a lot, I would not like it as much. But I don't know. The few attempts I did make of like trying to... Do I have my shield or not? Oh, I forgot to equip my shield! Oh. Well... I totally forgot. I, all I did was just buy it. Damn it. Come on. I, w I really wish that I uh, equipped my shield for this section. Yeah, the, the thing, yeah, with the shields, it's like, you can... You can dodge the physical projectiles fine, but the energy ones are a lot harder to me anyway. And of course you can drain it, but what if you forget to press the button and they come at you really fast? Oh, oh. oh, oh. I like how I panicked do trying to dodge some energy bullets. Oh, I need to get hit by that physical. It's a cool gateway game, but not something you spend uh, a lot of hours in trying to master like a Kitsui or Garega. Or Radius 3. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I share that same feeling, even if I haven't played that game very much. Like, with Kitsui and Battle of Garega, there's like, there's still a lot of stuff to learn. Whereas with Drainus, it's like, I don't know if there's a lot to learn. It hasn't felt like there's going to be there hasn't felt like there's as much to learn as in like Battle Garega or Kitsuri. Oh god, that was close. Man I really wish I gave myself that shield. Are there any busted weapons that I should know about that will help with survival more or something? I, I, I don't actually know what the what the cool busted tech is. Oh god, that was close. Probably can't remember. Okay, yeah. It probably is. I mean, with a game that features weapon customization, I'd be surprised if it didn't. Oh, hydrate. Uh. I'm not gonna hide it. Oh, that time I can hear the sound alert! Yay, because I fixed the OBS issue. Okay, I'm gonna hide it. <sighs> Welcome to the stream so far. Welcome to me playing yet another shmup. I'm only like four games in the. Oh, hold on. Oh! In the coin co-op classic in the Fortnite, so I have to spend all my brain energy on those. Yeah, because you're running the... I saw you were playing Baruki 1 oh, in the 1cc. And another... Was there a shmup you were playing? I just remembered the Baruki 1 1cc that you entered. <laughs> Oops, why did I... Why did I activate my drain a bit? Oh! Fantasy Zone, Legend of Val- Ooh, hold on. Oh, that was close. Give me that. Uh, Legend of Valkyrie- Oh, Darius G Gaiden, huh? Was that the Darius Gaiden? That's not G Darius, is it? The one where I thought it was really hard and you have to capture the enemies? That's G Darius, I think. I only- I vaguely recall you talking about Fantasy Zone at some point, but I forgot what exactly you said about it. Okay, 
that was kind of close. I kind of used up all my super bombs for no reason. Ooh. I got another life. It was that easy. <laughs> All right, uh, we take we take those. So I'll give myself the shield. Uh, enhance functions. And I'll give myself. Uh, nah, I don't need the jailbreak. What do I need? I need some missiles. Homing missiles, maybe. Yeah, I would like some homing missiles. Give myself more guard. Yeah. And it, oh wait, I should have gave myself one more. Okay, I should have given myself a bit more power up socket huh, to equip that homing missile. Okay, so the next one costs two. Uh, okay. Just hoping the setup I have is good enough. Okay, so I got my shield. Oof. I wonder if my auto shield, put, my energy shield, protects against that. No, it doesn't. It's hard to see anything that just happened. I think this section sucks if you're low on power. Because I remember getting to this point and then me like performing really badly at it. And I guess it's okay because they do give you power up stuff. It did not even kill them. Oh, whatever. Oh god, that was close. Damn it, I, I can't kill him. The mechanics seem really cool, although it is very milk heavy. <laughs> it is very milking heavy. Because they involve... They involve you using your drain ability a lot and just absorbing every bullet you can. I really like the sprite work in this game. Yeah, they get, uh, the, the company that made this game also worked on... Shit! On a uh, tuna... Toho Lunar Knights, which is a Metroidvania and Record of Lotus War, and then they're, they're known for their um, amazing sprite work. Yeah. It's all about the milk when it comes to these kind of schmucks. We're good. We're good. That is, of course, collision damage like a Gradius. This game features a heavy amount of walls. I can see why top notch. Yeah, the spider work is pretty amazing. I can easily recommend the other games as well. The Toho Lunar Nice is a well made game. Oh, come on. Let me in. There you go. 
I think Toho Luna Knights was their first game even, right? I, I don't really... I don't remember what their first game was, but that, well, that was the first game I played from the company and that's what really caught my attention. It really uh, made me more aware of what company... What, what sort of company they are. Ladybug had a bunch of games prior to that, like the Py Pyro Jack game. Um, Synchron City. Synchron City? Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. Um, the Jack Frost game that was momentarily uh, on the Atlas website and then it was taken down uh, because it was for a promotional thing. Did they also make that? Or is that the Pyro Jack thing? The Pyro Jack game that you're talking about? Sequence City Prologue? Yes, exactly, that one. I played that one. I think I even have it in a hard drive somewhere. It's a very similar art style, uh, Toho Luna Knights and the Jack Frost game. Maybe I should have used that way earlier. I'm gonna... Should I kill myself? Oops. I didn't mean to continue. Let's try again. Syn Synchronicity. Alright, alright. Let me try again. Doesn't seem like there's a stage select either, so yeah, trying to practice this game is also not great. <laughs> Alright, so what have I learned? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I've learned. Invest in the shield first, and this time go for uh, um, go for the perfect shield. Or even get a higher guard gauge, actually. That could be one solution. Ooh, I nearly... I nearly just died just then. Ladybug, the company, uh... It really does remind me of, um... French bread studio in a way. Uh, not because of the games they make, but because it's how I know about them is like sort of pure coincidence. Because I knew about French bread, I technically knew about French bread before Multiplayer. Because I was a big fan of Ragnarok Online back in the day, and I played a little game called Ragnarok Offline. I think it's Ragnarok Battle Offline, or some, like some title like that. And that game is pretty fun, it's a pretty fun beat em up. I might play it as like a retro Saturday stream. But yeah, French Bread made that game. And uh, I didn't know for the longest time until Pitchy like linked a few games made by French Bread that had a very similar looking art style to Ragnarok Offline. And then that's when I connected the dots. <laughs> oh god, well that was a waste of a super bomb. This is how you deal with them. Oh my god! That was kind of close. Oh, I thought I had a bomb. That's why I went inside of that guy. Oh, that sucked. Oh, I didn't even kill anyone. No, I don't have a bomb.
As long as I don't have any silly deaths, I'll be okay. Like, I have three lives by stage three, so it's really not... It shouldn't be too bad. Then again, I did have the powerful shot, so... It might be different if I... Uh, if I stick with this three-way shot, then I might not have such an easy time as I did on the earlier stage, on the later stages. Let's use up my uh, upgrade feature and we'll get hmm. Do I want a formation bit? What game is this? It's a game called Drainus. Like uh, it's in the title. The title is correct this time. Drainus arcade runs. I can totally recommend it because it's a very because I am playing like a more difficult uh, mode of this game where if you take one hit you die but not in the normal version in the normal mode at least when you whenever you take a hit you just lose a power instead you lose a power instead of losing your life uh, or losing a man you could say so it's pretty it's pretty nice toward newcomers. Let's do... Let's do... More gum. And just one more power-up socket. I think with more guard, that means that you're able... The potential to get more XP to spend pieces because you get more XP the more bullets you absorb. Very slowly getting uh, more XP. There you go. Nice. Uh, so I got three energy tanks. Is that anything I could spend? I give myself a lay a five way shot. I mean, it's really cheap. I may as well get it. Uh, and then in the meanwhile, I'll get homing missile. And yeah, I'll have to remember to equip those, of course. Okay. Next stage. I know I said I'll be getting the shield, but. The gif I'm looking at on Steam is of this part of the of uh, customizing your ship. Yeah, I mean it. It is a massive part of the game after all, so I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, one of the screenshots they show would be of a major component of the of the game. I really gotta get myself more formation bits. 
options as we call them in the in the schmuck industry. Whatever that means. Two prong lightning should be destroyed right beforehand. Oh okay, yeah. I mean, they, they do want to show the bosses of the game, but they don't want to show too much. So stage one seems like an appropriate boss to spoil. They're showcasing the bullet absorbing aspect. Mm -hmm. I mean that, again, another, it is a big component, a component to this game's mechanics after all. So not surprising. Because a lot of other shmups, they don't, they don't like to give you options to just absorb enemy bullets unless you're an Ikaruga. And Ikaruga, even then, is a little like that's not really the, the case anyway. Oh, what? I wasn't in for the invuln when I, uh, I didn't drain the whole bar when I let go. That, that sucks. So you can be here, and then you can just like absorb stuff here, and then you're, to you're totally fine here. That's why I forgot last time. The energy... Oh! Alright, hold on. I was low. The upgrade skin... Is the upgrade screen is the next skin. Yeah. It will be. Oh! Give me, give me more stuff to absorb. I need to scratch my nose. If I press, oh, you, what? That is so messed up. That if I press start to pause the game, it will actually use up my customization screen. That sucks. You gotta include an option for me to save whenever I want. Uh, not save to pause whenever I want. I have to make me use up my customization screen because in arcade mode you're only allowed to do it once in the middle of the stage but in the normal mode you can do it whenever you want yeah you can decide to just buy weapons in the middle of stages it's pretty uh, powerful that they let you do that it's pretty cheap that they let you do that so in arcade mode they don't let you do that because they figure that the game is harder than they restrict you like that which it is I can get the perfect shield pretty soon. Honestly, this five-way shot has been doing very well. I can get it right now, but I'm gonna save it. Uh, should I? This section is a little dangerous. I'm going to use it. I don't think I don't even think I get a power up uh, item right now. Anyway, not in this section. So that was a bit of a waste of time. It's only after this section that I get anything. Maybe it's not true. No, it's, it's true. I was I was hoping that one of these enemies would have. Me. Uh, power up item. Oh, th there you go. Give me the shield. And then I think the meta is you, you pick up what you pick up a super bomb that gives you extra power up features. So that when you run out of your shield, you can just use a super bomb and then you're back to having shields again. So 
I want to have that kind of combination. I didn't look up exactly how much that super bomb costs, so I'm gonna save until the end of this stage. Not even, not that I can even spend anything right now. Let's hope I don't die. I get, that's that, that's like the most important part. I do have the perfect shield, so I should be okay. Unfortunately, this game runs the, the the very real problem of if you're behind, it's it's the richer get richer and the poorer get poorer kind of approach to shmups where the later stages will be designed for you to have certain weapons, certain like uh, certain DPS requirements with your weapons. So if you die and like lose everything, uh, then you're basically screwed. At least in the arcade mode. In definitely in a in a the normal mode, it's a lot more manageable because you don't lose your you don't lose a man when you get hit. That was kind of fast. I don't know why I I uh, kept my field ready. When there's only physical bullets on the screen. Oh my god, I'm stupid. The super bomb ran out as soon as I touched the barrier. See how my measly little weak one shotter is not doing much damage. So yeah, don't die. <laughs> I mean that that's the case for every schmuck really. I didn't get a I uh, Okay, enhance functions. I didn't get an extra life unfortunately. Then I want I still like the oh. Let's do oh, I don't know actually. Let's do trace bit. Implement that. And then we'll look up how much the emergency power up is five energy tanks, so I want that. Here's hoping they will give give me the appropriate power necessary. To survive. No, I ran into a. Okay. Well, that sucked. Give it again. Uh, give it another try again. One drawback that this game does have is. Uh, they de the all the different stages are very long because they they are supposed to be highly extensive stages to be to be played in like a story mode kind of way, and not this is not really going for the true arcade experience that shmup players kind of want or expected from this game. So much for this mode being easy, I, I can't even beat it.
course I am making very silly mistakes, so there's that element to it, of course. Oh, oh man, I'm I'm so bad. I'm sorry for the way I'm playing right now. And I don't even have the same excuse as I had last time. Yesterday where um, my reactions were supremely slow because I was like sleepy and I was very out of it. Here I'm I'm feeling pretty I'm pretty in it. <laughs> I'm I'm the opposite of out of, out of it right now, so this is uh pretty embarrassing. What happens if I go full on... No, no, no. Because I remember I tried to go full on max guard meter and guard damage. Um, and by guard, I mean like the homing missiles that I'm shooting out here. Or lasers. Um, but I, I recall it didn't actually do that much damage to be worthwhile. So... Yeah, I'm probably still not going to do that. I'll probably try out the other weapons. I'll try out the the laser. I think you can milk this guy. There you go. Oh, move up. You're gonna be seeing a lot of stage one and two for quite a bit. Oh. Hit by that. Kill him. I did not want to go through that a, a second time. I still don't know what that number means in the middle of them because I think it's like something. I think it's something to do with quick killing them, I, I guess. So it have to be. And then you get more points if you kill them before the timer runs out. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that, was, that was a rough spot. I'm still gonna continue playing, but man. So the the thing that I got mistaken there is that after you bomb, you can't immediately try to drain out. You can't immediately try to put on the shield after the super bomb. You have to like be outside uh, the. You have to be outside the bullet first, and then use your shield in order to drain. I'm still gonna play this out though. Yeah, a, a lot of this stuff is coming back to me now. It's been a while since I ever uh, touched this game. Since it's. Release date? I don't know if I picked up this game on release date. It was pretty close to release date anyway. Because I saw Fiery play it, I saw Slow Beef play it, and I was like, yeah, I want to play this game. <laughs> and I did. And it's pretty fun. Uh, let's use up something. So we'll get laser beam, and in order to combat the the oh, I can only buy one formation bit. That's fine. Formation bit, laser. A 
was going to like give myself a lot of formation bits, but uh, they go up in price as you buy one of them. These laser beams are doing so much damage. Is that, is that supposed to happen? They're doing so much damage to these things. Okay. I don't even have to use my bomb to do a lot of damage there. Use all my bombs here. I nearly got hit there. I nearly got hit there too. Nice. I can buy more formation bits now. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a lot of uh, those bits for this run. I'll try to do something different every run. I don't wanna like do the same thing as I do last time and you know, this time it will work. I don't want to do that. Okay, buy some of that. And yeah. Next stage. I think buying the shield is bad because you need the firepower. And buying the shield is like, well, you still. I think enemy collision. collision still kill you. I, I can't be sure of that though. Give me that. Yes, I got that kill. I'm gonna use my super bomb there. I'm not even gonna bother dodging that anymore. Super bomb is very cheap. Both in the literal sense because it doesn't take. Like you can build up the meter very easily. You can build up meter very fast in this game. And it only costs one socket and you, earn, you have four sockets at once. Okay, that looks good. an extra life from an extend so that's good. I can't really hit the enemies behind me that way. I guess that's intentional. No really that power. Give me that laser. I need the damage. I'm still on stage 2, I just realized. Stages in this game are really long. I don't think, like, if I start, uh, there'll be a certain point where there'll be a lot of time left on the stream and I can't even really start up another run because I know it would take really long. That's how messed up the length of this game is. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm playing this in arcade mode so that problem is exacerbated way more than in the normal version because in normal mode 
you have checkpoints, you got a save system, you got progression. Like, it's a much more balanced experience compared to trying to play this game on, arc on an arcade mode. I've got a lot of uh, XP that I can spend. I've got to figure out what to spend it on. Maybe I'll save up for the perfect shield. How did I die last time when I did have perfect shield? I don't remember. I think I died to collision damage. Close to 15 XP uh, energy tanks, that's what they're called in this game. Right. Oh my god, that was close. I wonder if I should even go for the shield. Uh, it's too late now. Oh, I died to this guy because I rammed into him. Right, I, I remember. Yeah, that was stupid. Okay, this should kill him. Yep, before he's using that move. That worked out well. And you know what? Let's get that shield. And equip it this time. Don't forget to equip it. Do that. Yeah. Now I'm completely safe from all types of damage except coll collision. My worst. My worst uh, damage type by far. These lasers do a lot of damage. These are really... These lasers are pretty strong. I think they're too strong, honestly. Kill! Yeah! I did not want to try and fight the guy in the gym anymore. If I can go for the quick kill, I'm aiming for it. So, I've got four energy tanks. Do I have it? What do I want to buy? I can buy this. That's, that's good enough. And then buy one of these missiles. Homing missile? Yeah, homing missile. Okay. To be a bit careful here because the enemies here will ram me and yeah these enemies right here very cool enemies and these enemies right here will shoot physical projectiles okay oh my god that is so stupid i'm so mad Now I don't even have enough uh, DPS for the upcoming section. I hate that 
so much. That was kind of close. Uh, I'm running. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't want to be anywhere near that anymore. I actually died to that guy popping up in the background, so yeah, that's, that's very cool. So far, the only hits I've taken are from me colliding to enemies. I wish this game was more like Zero Ranger. I wish every shmup was more like Zero Ranger. Firepower back at least. Whew, okay. I think homing missiles, multiple homing missiles for my formation bits, is going to be really helpful in this section here. I mean, it's already, it's already proving its effectiveness. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't be because uh, this this part of the stage is really cramped. It's very cool. It's really cramped, so maybe how many missiles aren't the best here? Got my shield. That's that's all I wanted. Once I get the shield, that's that's all okay with me. Ah. This section again. I do have a shield, so I shouldn't be playing that scared. I'll just spin it the whole way around, whatever. Oh, I got- I took a hit. I believe my perfect shield came and saved me. Oh! I took a hit again. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do what's a what's called a pro shmup move. I'm gonna get the emergency power up, right, and then equip that to my bomb, and yeah, I'll take the hit and refresh, refresh my shield. There you go. Oh, oops. Because you can't refresh your shield normally, you have to. You have to lose your shield entirely before you're allowed to get it back. But as a result of that, uh, I lost access to my beam attack. It was, honestly, it was pretty good. Ooh. I definitely got to invest in more guard socket. Uh, more guard upgrades for sure, because that was really dangerous. That was really dangerous. Right. Here's a section that I died on previously. Okay, yeah, be careful here. Damage I'm doing there. Hey, I got I got my life back. That's good. I got my man back. I don't know why I spent a super bomb. Oh, I took a hit. What? 
Oh my god, okay. This is what my emergency power up is for. Collision damage is like the the main run killer of this uh, of this game. Oh god, that was close. Got my shield back though. Just have to be very careful of collision damage, and that's it. I was pretty close, but I, I managed to do it. Alright. Uh, I want another formation bit. Yeah, give me that. And I need six to purchase another one. I probably will get attack power as well, but I think I think the guard socket's way more important. Because I've noticed I've been running out of that very quickly. Alright, what stage number is this? Is this stage 4? Oh my god. Look at the stupidity on the screen. I could have taken collision damage and I would have been pissed. At least, uh... Luckily I have the shield. I've got the shield. So I can protect against anything, even that awful mess. As long as I don't bump into any enemies. Oh! Like that one just then. Oh. Should I take a hit? I'll take a hit and then use my power up. Emergency power up is really strong in this game. Especially if you're not playing this in arcade mode where or on the mode where one hit means you die. If you if you play the game normally, like uh, if you if you get hit, then you just lose a power up. Then the emergency power up feature is really strong. Just get over there. Oh, that was kind of scary. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's, there's a lot of mess going on. I wish I had a better super bomb. But no, emergency is what I need. So. It would have been nice to have it for this situation here. Like, just a beam. I don't know what exactly I'm going to upgrade next. I could get another bit to, fi to finally get the four bits I need, but I don't think that's necessary. I might just get more guard gauge, honestly. Oh, I took a hit. Oh, whoops, I took a hit. Oh, I got my shield back. Oh, that was kind of close. Oh, thank you, emergency power up, for saving me. Oh, I took another hit. Oh my god. I don't know what exactly I even died there. I, where I. Oh my. Oh, you can oh. I'm in the middle of a bullet stream right now. I don't think I'm going to survive this. 
No. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I was pretty close. Yeah, that was pretty tough. I'm gonna give out one more go. I mean, the, la the laser beam really carried me, for sure. I feel, yeah, I, I feel like with a different, uh, not different, uh, with just a little bit of practice, I could one see see this. It's it's very doable. It's just that I didn't, I forgot that I could just travel past that turret there, and I just stayed at that position there. It was just, I'm dying to a lack of knowledge right now. So all I need to do is I like, get more familiar with the stages and then uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It's not like in Kitsui where, or Battle Garega where you can get familiar with the stages but you still have to be good at schmucks if you know what I mean. Not, not good at schmucks but like good at dodging stuff at least. Dodging like erratic patterns. Which, uh, yeah, I, I think Biogrevega does fall under erratic patterns sometimes. Especially with the way the rank system works. So for this run, I'm gonna do uh, something different. I'm not gonna focus too much on bits. I'm gonna focus all on guard gauge and we'll see where that gets me. I said that I said that it's bad before, but I wanna see if it actually is bad. So I was definitely dying to a lack of guard gauge there at the end. Oh my god. Sure, what the That's fine. Me dying there. I don't want to have to restart this stage again, so I'm just gonna play along. Oh! I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to ignore those enemies. I don't have enough firepower. Oh! I don't think I'm... Yeah, I'm all only guarding... Uh, investing in your guard meter and guard damage doesn't seem to be a bad option. Because you're always gonna have it. You're always gonna be able to shoot those missiles. Those, not missiles, the, the homing lasers. So it shouldn't be too bad. Oh god, that was close. Number six, no. God power is eight. Damn. God absorption is one point two. Um, get more guard socket, and then one more power up socket, and then uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna try go for an old drain run. Okay. 
really does not do enough damage. Don't ram me. I wonder if you get more score if you destroy, if you pick up those power ups and you don't need it. You probably, you probably do, right? Oh my god, that's exactly what I mean. Like, that's why I wanted to get the guard that uh, protects you from energy, at energy attacks, because that kind of thing happen. How is he not dead? Next stage, losing two lives in stage one is not ideal. Okay. Oh, that was close. Got an extra life back. That's that's all I wanted. That's all I really wanted. Okay, sure. Most of my deaths have been from collision. Definitely need that 1.2 times power in the guard. Thing. Focusing right now. Oh! Oh my god, I nearly died there. Okay, that's good. Wasn't paying attention for a second. That could be the death of me. I need to get one more life before I. I'm focused. Oh! Oh, 
the region. Uh, so the next god socket, uh, the next god socket upgrade is at four energy tanks, and uh, one point two times one is eight. So I need twelve. I need 12. Oh, wow, I need to die there. I need 12 energy tanks before I go into my customization menu. to take into effect. Right. At least I have the extra guard socket. Got the extra power. Hopefully that will help. Doesn't look like it's helping. Doesn't look like it's helping that much. to be at full guard okay, to really notice the effects okay it okay. does more damage I guess Oh, we already have 5 energy packs. That's a lot more than I expected. Oh. We may as well pick this up because we don't have any more upgrades. We're not allowed to open the upgrade menu again. Dangerous! Oh, I use that way too early. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise though, because I can start to absorb his beam and therefore get more energy tanks from that. Oh, and I got an extra life back. That's good. That's really good. I shouldn't use a super bomb that much. I thought I pressed up, but I did not. But I got lucky. No, these. This particular. I 
I actually need max focus here because this is not easy to dodge. Oh, I have to use the super bomb there. No way I was able to. Oh my god, really? Oh. These are moving so fast. That was stupid. I don't see how... That was really difficult to dodge. I feel like if I had less guard gauge than that, I would not have made it. So I could get another guard socket. Just go all in. But I kind of want a shield. Especially this shield, so I want to get that. I can get that and the guard socket, so that's good. And I should probably buy something that will give me more weapon DPS. Because, yeah, the guard gauge on its own is not doing enough damage. That's so stupid how they just don't die for my missiles, for my lasers. This is why I bought the physical shield against... Uh, these guys are why I wanted to get the physical shield. Because it's kind of hard to see... What? Oh. The game just kind of moved me. two lives here so I don't I obviously do not want to die here oh, that wasn't the worst super bomb Leave that guy alive because I can't kill him with this weapon. I need something like the tornado beam with this carry of a weapon set. Just use that, whatever. Oh! That was kind of... That was very scary. I had to use the super bomb there. I have to be careful with super bombs because I don't have any more. Okay, I survived. Oh. Got an extra life from all those, all those reflects. See, this really is paying off. May not be doing the most damage right now, but I'm getting, I'm getting my energy tanks very quickly thanks to me absorbing everything. I think the tornado beam is 12 energy tanks, so... I mean, 12 energy tanks will buy anything in the store, so if I change my mind about uh, 
needing the tornado beam. Uh, that's that's absolutely fine. Make that decision now. So, yep, that is 12. I could go for more bits and go for more rolling. But if it is tornado, then formation would be better. Hmm. I don't need that. Go for more guard socket. <laughs> That's it. That's all I need. Excuse me for a second. Okay. Let me get some water real quick. Oh wait, I can't. Oh, I can't. I just realized I'm timed. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Is there no way to pause? Uh, so I bought that uh, guard socket, right? And that's it, right? Okay. Can't even get myself some water. I totally forgot. Oh, I hit a physical projectile. Oh, that was close. Ah. Leave it on exit game prompt. Oh yeah, I can do that. But in the middle of the... I, I couldn't do that in the upgrade menu. But yeah, I can do it right now. Oh! I nearly died there. I nearly died. Okay, let me get some more. Imagine if I uh, clicked on quit there. I'd be destroyed. Uh, Alright. I gotta abuse this. Uh, I gotta abuse the fact that I have a lot of uh, this guard meter. I fell for that. Man, that came out so fast. Luckily, oh, I nearly got hit there again. Luckily, I have a lot of lives. Oh, and a lot of power ups around me. Nice. What? I. That is so stupid. The foot part, which is very hard to see and is very small, is, is also a hitbox. This is gonna take a while. Man, this boss sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ladybug, but this boss is really bad. Oh, fine. Oh, that sucked. But I survived. At least I survived. I got an extra life for it, so not too bad. Uh, 
Alright, so I've got 10 energy tanks. How many power socks have I got? Oh, four. Uh, let's let's get some rolling. Uh, let's get a trace bit actually. Okay, and then before I forget, let's get the power up socket. Uh, and then trace bit there, and then we'll save up for the tornado beam. Oh, I don't even have... Uh, maybe I should have gotten the... No, this sucks. This sucks with low power. It didn't even give me any power-up items in that beginning stage. In, the, in that early part. Okay, it's, it's gonna give it to me there, but... It's a bit late, and one of the enemies just escaped. Okay. Oh! That was close. Okay, they're gonna give me powers. That's good. Back to normal. Ooh. And I have my trace bits. Oh, I nearly got hit. Oh, my God. Ugh, sorry, sorry for yelling. Out of city. This is why I don't really like the physical shield sometimes because you you can dodge them. Except for that one right there. You can dodge them and you can cancel them very well. So maybe I should switch to energy. Because energy bullets are more likely to catch you off guard than physical projectiles. Riding enemies. I wonder if I should just get perfect shield. Oh, Alright, it'd be a really bad time to because there's no. I don't have any power up items. See that coming! It came from the bottom. I mean, it. I mean, sure, it did like you know come from the top, but still. Thirteen. Thirteen energy tanks. For fifteen, I'm going to do something. Emergency power up. Should I? Or ultra beam? Okay, well, first of all, 
Let's not get the Tenere Beam. Let's get the Twin Wide Shot. And then... DPS isn't really an issue. It's surviving that's an issue. Got hit by that physical bullet. That would have been cool. I I uh, focus more on survival for my uh, power up choices. That's for sure. Covered. We got all our uh, power ups back. This is it. Oh, I nearly died there. Just give me another life, please. Give me an extra man. I don't know where's the wall. That was very hard to tell. Oh, that was close. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. So close. Is it not going to give me an extra life yet? What's even happening? Oh! Oh! That was close. I wanted to go for the quick kill. Yes! Got an extra life. I'm safe. I'm as safe as I will ever be. Oh man, my time limit on the stream is already up. That's crazy. Oh wait. Oh! Okay, I already kind of have to be going at this point. At this point. Let's hope I can... Because this is only one loop, so it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be too far away. Hope it's not that far. I think I'm like uh, one more stage away from beating the game. I think there's like a what? How did that even make any sense? Oh, there's a couple. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, there's a there's a couple of. Uh... Refresh the guards and then hold guard for that, because that that is what got me last time. Um, I'm not. Oh man. I was gonna say I shouldn't even bother dodging that and just use a super bomb. And then that just happened. 
Oh. I was doing so well until I got caught by surprise by him ejecting that beam thing and then just like sniping me. Yeah, this, uh, trying to 1cc this game is a bit hellish because of how long each stage is. It's pretty annoying. So, as much, like, I would want to start again, but I, unfortunately, I have to go now. I have to get something to eat. And, uh, yeah. I have to get ready for FF14 raiding. But yeah, this is a good game. Uh, definitely recommend for even the casual shmup players because they can play on easy and the mechanics are pretty self-explanatory. You absorb these bullets. Just ignore this bullet pattern. That's what you always wanted to do, right? And you can do that. So yeah, good game. Uh, if a bit like, you know, not, not a, uh, not a fan favorite among shmup fans, but that's okay. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to be playing Ether Vapor Remaster. Uh, oof. That, that game's going to be rough. That's going to be super rough. Yeah, it is. Think trying to think it back about when I played it. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad. Hydrate and posture. Yeah, thank you. I will do that. So yeah, tomorrow is gonna be ether vapor. Um then on Thursday. What am I gonna do Thursday? Well, did I play Black Label? Oh yeah, I did play Black Label on stream before. Either I'll be practicing Ikaruga, or I'll be trying out Bat Rider, because Pitchy keeps talking about Bat Rider, and I really want to try that game out. Uh, so yeah, that that might be fun. And my phone just rung. Oh, Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars could be interesting, but that's only like a. Like the the content of Geometry Wars Retro Evolved lasts for like thirty minutes. the The whole appeal of that game is to get the highest score. And I I assume it's a Twitch bitrate destroyer, I from what I remember of the game, which might be fun, might be fun to play that. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing Ether Vapor tomorrow for sure. I'm not sure what, yeah, I, yeah, Bat Rider on Thursday. I, I was going to say I wasn't sure, but yeah, Bat Rider is going to be on Thursday because I really want to try that game out. It's apparently another cave shmup, I believe. It's also a Dota 2 hero, which I didn't even know. Armed Police Bat Rider. Oh no, it's not by, by it's not made by cave, it's 18, of course. Yeah, trying that out. Alright, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, hopefully I see you later. Bye-bye. I will eventually do some more Gunpla streams once I get my markers and stuff, so that'll be, that might be fun. Oh, I don't know where... Oh, there's OBS.